there's a spot here I haven't camped for about two years now I think it was my first woodland solo camp so two years on and it looks quite different it was in there I could put a video link at the end of this video what I had is a little tarp wrapped around that pinned out and a bivvy bag underneath so it would be kind of cool two years on it was two years two months ago so two years and two months to camp there I remember waking up in the morning it was early on in the years so there's a lot of mist but the morning chorus is unbelievable yeah just a shame to hear the cars or oh, I could camp here even though that other place would be quite good but uh, I kind of like this so the ground slopes down a bit so trouble this be right All set up, going basic, minimum gear, basically just a cheap Poundland bit of tarp, not my big tarp, underneath the bivvy bag of course, the Dutch Army bivvy, oh, and one thing is uh, here to do a repair, because this uh, SIP system it's only like glued to this fabric so, and uh, that was coming away and I did try to get in contact with people to sew it up professionally but didn't get much luck so I don't myself what I've done is I just held it against them just needle and thread sewed it all the way over and this shiny stuff is a bit crap um, it's a uh, seam seal um, repair type thing don't look great but that's the job that's the main thing so sleeping bag navigator snug pack envelope shape then the uh, multi mat plant mattress and that's it really no pillow. Nice and simple. I'll probably dig a little fire pit or something. Make sure there's no roots. Just have a little fire. I've got my brew kit as well. 
So I could have a coffee in the morning. I've had dinner at home, so there's no pans or cooking. It's just simple sleep out in the woods. I managed to put my bag in the end here. It just had uh, a couple of bits in it, like brew kit, um, stuff sacks and that. I managed to squeeze it in there. Just pushed me down a bit now, that's so the thing. But uh, I like to keep out the heading because I've got a first aid kit as well. Um, it's like essential I'd bring every time. Unfortunately, we are forecast rain first thing in the morning. And with this being a, a minimum micro, whatever you like to call it, camp, I didn't bring a tarp or a jacket. Nah. I should be alright. I think the sun's pretty much down. Can't see it from here though. You do get some big deer along here. When I walked in, I heard one. It's a lot of barking. I don't know why, but when I can't hear the road, when it's just like dead silence and I know I'm away from everything I feel a hell of a lot safer I don't know if anyone else feels like that but if I camp next to a, a road or a farm or something like that I just get paranoid I managed to get the fire on the go. It's about 20 to 10 now. I've just got this going. And what I basically do is just let these little logs burn out and then go to bed basically. I found some fat wood, put that on there, that really worked well. A lot of um, mozzies flying about, so hopefully, it's smoky fat wood burning should sort of put them off. Just go let this die down, and I've got some water I could chuck on it. Make sure it's all burned truly out, and I think I'll call it a night. Good night.
It's about quarter to five. I woke up about three o'clock to go to the toilet, but then I was wide awake. I just couldn't sleep. And I started thinking things and hearing things which you shouldn't do when you're wild camping. But I'm just so glad the sun's starting to come up. Still quite dark, just having my coffee. Just packed away, kicked the ground about just to make it a little bit more natural. That's where I had the fire, leave no trace, taking my litter with me. Just on my way back now, I was toasting last night, that set up. I think the lowest temperature, it dropped down to about 15 degrees and I was cooking but then again there's been other nights it's been about temperature and I've been cold so I don't even work that one out well, I'll say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time ok cheers, bye